Welcome to iLecture Online and here's another example of how to do word problems using two variables. So let's read the problem. It says Kathy has 30 coins consisting of dimes and quarters that total $5.10. How many coins of each type does she have? So we, since we have two different variables, we're going to define them very carefully. Let x equal, and it's always a good idea to write that out, let's x equal the number of dimes. And then we use the variable y, let that represent the number of quarters. This is a very important step, never to be omitted. Always very careful to define your variables. All right, then we should look in the problem to find information to come up with two equations. Since there's two unknowns, two variables, we need to find two equations to relate the two variables with each other. It says here that Kathy has 30 coins, and since she only has dimes and quarters, that means that the number of dimes, x, plus the number of quarters, y, should add up to 30. And there's our first equation. Then we read on, it says, consisting of dimes and quarters that total $5.10. So the value of all the quarters plus the value of all the dimes add up to $5.10. So a good way to do that is to say the value of the dimes plus the value of the quarters must add up to $5.10 or in, in cents adds up to $500. And 10. So how do you express the value of the dimes? Well, since each dime is worth 10 cents and you have X number of dimes, then the number of dimes that you have times the value of each dime represents the total value of all the dimes. We add to that the value of all the quarters. Since you have Y number of quarters and each quarter is worth 25 cents, we can then say that Y, the number of quarters you have, times 25 cents each, adds up to the value of all the quarters. And when we add it all together, that's worth 510 cents. All right, and simplifying that a little bit, get rid of all the parentheses and all the brackets, we can say that 10X plus 25Y equals 510. And so there's our first equation, there's our second equation, and so now we can go ahead and solve that. We have to solve these simultaneously. So what I'm going to do is on this one, I'm going to solve this equation for either x or y. Let's solve for x, and then substitute that in for the x that we have over here. So here we can write that x equals 30 minus y. By bringing the y across the other side, it becomes minus y. And then we take this and substitute that into the x into our second equation. That way we only end up with an equation with one variable instead of two. So this equation now becomes 10 times x, and x's word uh, is equal to 30 minus y, like that, and uh, plus 25y, and that equals 510. So now I combined my two equations into a single equation with just one variable. Solving that for the variable, we first get rid of parentheses, so we have 300 minus 10y plus 25y equals 510. Moving all the numbers to one side, all the variables to the other side, we have minus 10y plus 25y equals 510 minus 300. By moving the 300 to the other side, it becomes minus 300. Combine like terms. So let's move over here. So we have the minus 10y plus 25y is 15y on the left side equals 510 minus 300, which is 210 on the right side. So now we divide both sides of the equation by 15. So y is equal to, how many times does 15 go into 210? Well, 10 times 15 is 150. That leaves us with 60, and 15 goes into 60 four times, so y equals 14. And since y represents the number of quarters, that means we have 14 quarters. Now since we have the number of dimes expressed in terms of the number of quarters, we can use this equation to say that x is equal to 30 minus 14, which is equal to 16, which x represents the number of dimes, so we can say that we have 16 dimes. And that's how we do a problem like that. Again, summarizing, always define your variables up front, 
x is the number of dimes, y is the number of quarters. Then we go into the problem, find out the relationship between them. So to come up with two equations, we solve the two equations simultaneously by taking one of the two equations, solve them for one of the variables in terms of the other. We substitute that into the second equation. That allows us the equation with just one variable. We solve that for the one variable, then we plug that value back into here to solve for the other variable. And that's how you do a problem like that using two variables.